Hidden away and long forgotten, deep inside the Delaware Health and Social Services campus near Newcastle is a spiral cemetery filled with gravestones. Graves marked with just numbers, no names, just a circle of numbered stones. From 1891 to 1983, this was the final resting place for more than 700 former patients and a few workers at the Delaware State Hospital. The hospital served patients with mental illness, as well as those with developmental disabilities and other ailments. The people who are buried here were formerly patients of the hospital who, when they died, either had no family or their family had no means uh, to bury them. Faith Kuhn spearheaded the effort to clean up the cemetery and make it more accessible. That meant ripping out the hedgerows seen in the background of these photos. What you see today is a tremendous improvement over what it was in 2010. It's come a long way. Back when I first started here, we had a hedgerow poison ivy grown up all around uh, the area here, and it was, it was not even noticeable from the street. John McDermott has worked at the DHSS campus for more than 30 years. So we come in and uh, we had our crew and some contractors take it all down and uh, clean it up. Uh, we've raised the trees here a little bit so uh, you can uh, see some of the uh, stones. So we, we've come a long way with it. Now that the cemetery is visible, there are more visitors. We have people that come here and visit, and we also have people from the campus that like to walk. And uh, they'll come up here now because they see it. But even seeing it, doesn't provide any information about the lives buried below, not even a name. The name of the person was recorded in a cemetery book, and the cemetery book for this cemetery resides in the Delaware State Archives. Everything is in a name. That's the beginning of my identity. I'm not somebody who, I'm not just some person who has a, a mental health diagnosis. I am Bryce. This is, this is me. Bryce Hewlett leads the Delaware Consumer Recovery Coalition, a group dedicated to improving community inclusion for those recovering from mental illnesses. Just being able to put the names of the people who uh, have passed away and are now buried here uh, in a place that's recognizable uh, is very significant to bring dignity to, to the people buried here. We believe that this is a very important statement that people who who lived with mental illness and who suffered under the stigma of mental illness. Um, this is in honor of them. His legal team declared Holmes mentally ill, laying the base for an insanity defense. It saddens me sometimes that the only time mental health gets attention in the news is when there's some uh, major tragedy. But the statistics show that people with mental health diagnoses are far less likely to be uh, perpetrators of violence than they are to be victims of violence. Next year, a monument listing all the names of those buried will be placed on the edge of the cemetery. That monument will be sculpted in part by those recovering from mental illness. It'll be a, a well-built structure by the folks at the Creative Vision Factory who have a lot of experience in, in uh, creating monuments like this. Uh, this will be something that many of us in our community can always point to and say, you're not forgotten. In addition to the monument, there are also plans for a historical marker at the site. There are. Uh, Two Civil War veterans buried here. One was a patient in the hospital and one was an employee. There's also a veteran of the Spanish-American War buried here. 